Good morning, folks. We're watching the departure of a plasma filament and its solar tornadoes. Today we've got looks at the top news from Earth to Sun and around the inner solar system, but we are starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding a quiet 24 hours with no sunspots, no solar flares, no filament eruptions, and the solar wind here at Earth is calm. You'll recall that the southern coronal hole system is likely to have its solar wind reach Earth tomorrow night. Now in terms of sunspots and flare potential, we look to the incoming limb and find growing loops and faint streamers of what is likely the return of that sunspot group from the middle of May. Stereo A staring right at it from a few months behind Earth in orbit. Hawaii Volcano News. Another day, another eruption. This one downgraded from 5.3, but even still, at 5.3, it would be yet another day of decreased magnitude since the 5.5 on the 5th. Eyes on her. GOES is featuring this shot on their page. That pipeline blast in West Virginia was caught by GOES-16 in four different bands. Let's go to another band highlighted from the GOES-16 here. The last 24 hours of lightning over the U.S., including the eastern storms which really lit up starting north in Iowa and Minnesota. I knew Scotland was far north, but still, this is a brutal sight to see in the middle of June. Luckily, not much damage, but still, quite the midsummer show. In response to about nine of you that I suspect huddled up to email me the same thing yesterday, Meteorshowers.org is where you find those incredible animations of the flows causing the sights in the sky. From long period to close-in action, it's got the flows of the major shows, next one coming in about a month, the Southern Delta Aquarius. On to our top story, low-dose radiation effects. Now keep in mind, the highest energy cosmic rays can get to the core of Earth, but the vast majority create these atmospheric cascades and are of that low-dose nature. We are at the modern cosmic ray maximum right now and heading higher, by the way, and this study confirms much of the cancer, congenital, cardiac, and, a throwback to last night, cognitive health effects. This one won't hit print until December 2018, but the online release is out now. Lastly, folks, imagine you were out fishing, and when you come back, an officer checks your catch, notes which species are owned by patent, and taxes you appropriately for your taking of a corporation's property. Folks, everyone without a boulder on their face knows what just happened with Monsanto and Bayer, and this is just as horrifying, but in the ocean. You heard of Monsanto suing farmers who just had wind blow their seeds onto their property? Imagine when it's plankton, sea plants, major catch species. This is not good, and this article only wants to discuss the equitable and environmental side of it. Folks, just 11 days left until pre-registration ends for Observing the Frontier 2019, Part of one of my 2018 presentations is in last night's video in case you want a bit of a preview. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Folks, the last two nights videos are key to watch as I mentioned and do indeed involve space weather and human health. Terrific podcast on suspiciousobservers.org as well yesterday. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.